suppose if you are not a, not able to de derive the mathematically but you have no you, you people know about the uh, boost converter how it is so what we need to do we need to go to the library browser go to the library browser simscape then you can go to the electrical then here specialized power system then you people have here uh, power electronics right so power electronics and sources it is there so what i need to do here i need a dc voltage source so then i took a dc voltage source. so go to here power electronics control then you can take directly the boost converter or acid whatever it may be you can take but if you want to go with the uh, uh, as per the topology so here mosfet it is there so i am taking mosfet as well so i mean you just need to right click add block to your model otherwise you just need to drag and drop also no problem like this a anything is fine okay so similarly dc voltage i do what i need rlc branch i need okay series rlc i will type as a series rlc it will take from the specialized power system first what i need i need a inductance apply okay then this one is control r okay inductive current then what we need a diode right so diode which i am taking okay if you need the measurement port you can keep otherwise you can remove these are the all the, these are the switches everything which are available in the sim power system specialized technology toolbox which this feature is available directly you are taking the inductance and the dc voltage source which you are taken and here you are connecting to the uh, drain to uh, here you can connect here so drain off and source here you can connect it so you can connect like this then diode also which you connected okay so now drag and drop here double click this one take it as a capacitance apply okay control r again then you can connect like this capacitor okay so then drag and drop here I will keep it as a, a simple R load. Apply. Okay. So I am taking a simple resistance around it is 10 ohms. Okay. If you are not, when, when you are not able to design, you are not familiar with the mathematical equations, but you are aware of the uh, some uh, converter topology. So then uh, you can prefer this specialized power system toolbox, then you can design. Now what I need, I need to give a pulse generator. So here, after taking the pulse generator so i need to measure the input voltage output voltage so i need a voltage measurement as well. what i need i need a voltage measurement so voltage measurement input voltage measurement and output voltage measurement both i need right so i will take like this voltage measurement and input voltage measurement output voltage measurement i am taking okay like this i connect it so now if you need inductor current then current measurement also you people can take current not this one this is a current sensor when you are working with a physical block then you can take that type of sensor but in specialized power system you have a current measurement also you can remove it current measurement you can take then like this you can connect okay so now everything is connected so now you need a scope block right scope you can take simply so this is the output voltage so what i will do i am taking this one as a four in outputs right number of input port ports are four i am taking okay layout i am giving like this apply okay okay you can remove this one okay first to pulse generator i am giving okay then inductive current as i said inductive current charging and discharging okay then input voltage and what is the output voltage okay so now once after connecting this before running this you need to take another block power gi whenever so because this power gi will help so when we are using the rlc element because the dc power conversion is happening so when you are preparing the sim power system toolbox sim power system specialized power system toolbox 
we are operating with this library uh, toolbox then you can take the uh, this container power gy you can take okay so now input voltage how much i am giving 100 voltage so then what is the inductance suppose inductance here i am giving uh, 60 60 power minus 3 i am giving then the capacitance here i am giving 100 okay 100 i am giving apply okay resistance 10 percent i given and here so time period so time period 50 hertz only i am taking for simple understanding so time period 50 in the sense 1 by 50 so 1 by 50 0 0.02 seconds so pulse width here pulse width what is the time period time period t on by t on plus t of right dt ratio here i am taking as a 60 percent so phase delay it is almost zero apply okay now you can run the simulation once if you run the simulation let's see here see here this is the switch but over there inductor current this is the input voltage this is the output voltage right let's see here capacitance here ready power minus 3 yeah you can see here now what is happening here I'm going through in little bit detail here. Now you can see here. Okay, pulse generator. Okay. Apply. So now I did another one. Apply. Okay. So here I am changing the current measurement, right? Apply. Current measurement, okay? This is the current measurement and the input voltage. This is the input voltage and this is the output voltage. See now here. So the DC link, see here. See here, switch on by switch on time. Okay. Switch on by switch on time. And this one, see here. It is around near to 250, right? View. Sorry. Yeah, it is around 255 something. See, this is the input voltage and the current which we see here. The current it is around but here either current or voltage simply here randomly which trailer and error method based which i given some values okay inductive voltage and current so what is happening here so we are observing either pulse width how the switch is turning on at the time what is the inductive current and the other. but if you need to control this one see here which is the accurate one so if it is suppose duty ratio is 60 percent in the boost so what is the uh, v naught is equal to uh, v naught how much it will get here we are getting 254 but uh, here uh, if it is in the boost boost if you see mathematical equations which is accurate one that's what that that the only difference i want to give uh, here this is the sim specialized power system which i designed then i randomly given some values and then uh, here with mathematical equation with a mathematical proof here we are observing if you want to see this waveform also we can observe here itself 
so here i am taking two input supply okay so now the pulse generator okay pulse generator also we will observe similar kind inputs only we will give there also then let's see here resistor is 50 which they given see here the yellow color one is the pulse width modulation and the sky blue color one is the inductive current here okay see here sorry uh, let's see the style yeah pulse generator is sky blue color one yellow color one in the inductive current see here the switch turning on turn off times based on that how current is see here switch on and off then what we are observing inductive current inductive current so this is the pulse generator switch on time off time then inductor is charging switch off then inductive current is discharging charging discharging see here i will zoom out a little bit so then now you people can observe switch on and off then inductive current is See here. See. Okay. Charging and discharge. Charging time inductive current is increasing. Discharging time this one. If suppose the same parameter values, if I given. So the same pulse generator. So whatever the values here you given, the same thing which I will I am going to apply here in the simple specialized power system okay so one uh, one by um, what is it 25k right so 25 the switching frequency it is up to 250 kilohertz also there in uh, power semiconductor devices so here i am giving 12 voltage 12 voltage so here i am giving around uh, what is the inductance sorry 150 e power minus 6 micro henry okay so here i am giving a 150 micro henry okay apply okay capacitor it is around 68 right 68 e power minus 6 i am going to give so then uh, here it is a uh, 50 apply okay here apply okay so now let's see here uh, what is the expected output voltage which we are going to get See here, same. So the SN, the see here, it is 12 which we are giving because that's what I am telling here. Math by keeping the mathematical, so roughly simply previously I designed in trial and error method. So in that case, we are not getting the expected result. Randomly, I given some values, but proof of mathematical. 
so with mathematical deriving mathematical equation we are able to calculate what is the inductance value what is the capacitance value if we have a mathematical equation so then we can tell what is the expected output voltage also so previous one if we give simply 100 voltage it is coming 250 so d into the duty ratio 0 0.6 which we are giving so now here the output voltage also 30 voltage only we are getting 30 voltage only we are getting see here around 30 voltage near to that we are getting so this one it is developed in the open loop only open loop simulink design of a boost converter at one side i given the mathematical equations through mathematical equations how to design a boost converter this is one side this is the with mathematical equations mathematical equation design of a boost converter okay See here mathematical equations of a boost converter and this one simple with a simulink and sim power system by designing a boost converter okay with the toolbox this one is with the simulink environment mathematical equation okay i hope you like the session